In this video, we're going to start um, the Introduction to Physics unit. So the first thing that you guys want to know is you're in physics class, so you want to know what exactly will I be studying this year. So physics is the branch of science that involves the study of the physical world. Okay, so this is everything around you. Um, energy, matter, and how these things are related. If you were to think of any place, any place in the universe, there's physics going on there. Um, there's not always biology going on because biology is the study of life and there's not always life everywhere, but there is physics everywhere. So physics is pretty crucial and so that's why you take physics in high school. So um, SI units. We have um, quite a few in physics um, and these, this is the international system of units, and so we have a base quantity and a base unit, and then the symbol for that. The first one is length. Um, you would use the length of a car or um, how tall you are, and the base unit for that is the meter, and the symbol is just a little m. For mass, um, this would be um, the mass of something, not how much something weighs. We'll get into this later but the mass of something, if you were to um, mass a car or a person or anything, you um, the base unit for that is kilograms. So this is the one that's kind of weird. There's actually a prefix for the base unit. It's not gram, it's actually kilogram. And so your symbol is kg. The base quantity for time is the second. That's just a little s. The um, base quantity for temperature is the Kelvin. So you guys may be familiar with degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit, but Kelvin is actually the temperature unit for, um, for SI, and it's a big K, and this actually should be a big K as well. Um, the amount of a substance is the mole. You guys probably did this in chemistry. You probably know more about moles than you'd ever want to talk about and um, because scientists are super super lazy um, they abbreviate mole by just taking off the E um, and you won't see this one very much in physics maybe a little bit but not a ton um, electric current is the ampere and it's a big A luminous intensity this is how much how bright something is it's um, candela and the symbol is CD. The way I kind of remember this is candela kind of sounds like a candle and a candle gives off light. You can see I would never have made it into the Arts Academy. My pictures are really bad. Um, so these are your SI units. Now the metric system, we will always use metric system in science. If you ask me do I use inches or centimeters or meters, I will always say centimeters or meters because we are scientists in science class and so we will use the metric system. So you're not going to you're not going to use this. No foot, no yard, no inches. Yuck, we don't use this. Um, you're not going to use the pound. Yuck, we don't use that. This is um, science. And um, you will use meters, decimeters, centimeters, things like that. Um, if you look at a meter stick, the whole meter stick is one meter. Each of these little teeny tiny ones is a centimeter. And then one of these ones right here is a decimeter. Um, and if you look at a ruler, a ruler sometimes even has, will have, um, if you look at a ruler, it's not a very straight ruler. These will actually be the centimeters, and then the little ones will be the decimeters. Um, and this is a ruler, where this would be a meter stick. And the reason we use metric, and the reason scientists use metric, is because it's really easy to convert between amounts. You'll do a lot of conversions. You did some of that in chemistry. Um, and you just multiply or divide by powers of 10. And we will do more of this in the dimensional analysis video. So here we go. Here's our prefixes. This is a lot of stuff. Okay. And we, I put a bunch of them here that you don't usually use. Um, right here is where your base unit would be. Okay. So this is where you have grams, meters, whatever. 
and then anything above, anything that way, are things that are smaller than the base unit, and anything to the bottom are things that are bigger. Okay, now, um, Femto, these are things that are really, really small, like the amount of iron in the ocean is in femtograms. It's really, really small. And we're not really going to use femto very much. Um, but I put it on here just because it is. It, look at this. This is ridiculously small. It's crazy. Um, pico. Pico is another that's really small. Um, measure amounts of algae in the ocean in picograms. Um, pico is pretty small. Um, a nanometer, that is also small. It is like 1 times 10 to the negative 9 or something like that. Um, a microgram. You guys might see micrograms. I would know this one, and it's got this cool little U. And you just kind of draw it like this. And um, so you'll put that weird U in front of any of your units. And it's like times 10 to the negative 6. Um, a millimeter, you will use this. This is probably now we're getting into things that you've heard before. Um, that's 1,000th of a meter. You have a centimeter, and that's 1 100th of a meter and a decimeter is one-tenth. If you think of century, that's a hundred years. Centi means a hundred. And deci, if you think like decade, that's ten. This is, um, deci means ten. Kilo, you will see kilogram a lot. Um, you'll see kilometers a lot. Um, this will be one that you want to kind of um, know for physics. Mega, you're not going to see mega a ton, or giga, or tera. Um, a lot of times when we talk about um, computers, we talk about gigabytes. Or um, I watched a keynote the other day and they said teraflops, and that's just like huge or terabytes. Um, but these really, these um, these five are the ones that you'll use the most in physics. And I, I would know these multipliers, and I would know that there's a thousand kilometers in a meter, and I would just know that. Um, and there's ten decimeters in a meter and things like that. I, I um, These five, I would know. Or you have to do flashcards or whatever you need to do.